What's the difference between breathing exercises and pranayama? Why are breathing exercises considered superficial? To understand this question, we will have to first understand the yogic anatomy. My name is Radhika Shah Groovan, and I am the author of Mastering Pranayama. So I'd like to share with you the diagram on the yogic anatomy. And this is how it looks. You see on the right hand side, the center of consciousness, and then Adi Prana. While right at the other end, the left hand side, you see the senses in the body. Breathing exercises occur at the level of the breath, which is between the body and the conscious mind. Here you have the latent and active unconscious mind. So you see Adi Prana is between the unconscious mind and center of consciousness. It is far deeper than breathing exercises or the breath. Breathing exercises are regulated at the level of the breath, while pranayama techniques are regulating prana at a far, far deeper level. It is adi prana, which is between the center of consciousness and the unconscious mind. So you see, the breath is very superficial because it operates with the respiratory system, while pranayama techniques seek to go far deeper to the level of prana itself. This is very different from breathing exercises.